Welcome to this new tutorial about how to animate and combine Vectron fractals with uh, meshes. So we will need Octane, Render and Cinema 4D and also a closed mesh like this one or there's many for free online and then we will need to download this animated value script for Octane standalone. So let's start. I'm going to import uh, this closed mesh. Here we go. So uh, we need to save the project. First thing to do. And then we need to add a volume builder and drag that under. So as you can see, the mesh has been uh, voxelized, but the detail is too low. So decrease the voxel size to one and play with that until you are happy. Maybe 0.5 is fine. Maybe a little more. You can go down even more if you want, but it's going to be uh, slower. So play with this a bit. Okay, that's fine. So now select everything here and press C. Now it's an object and we can save it. So venere uh, dot bdb and hit save. Now we should have a, a vol folder and venerate.vdb. Now we need to open this in uh, Octane standalone. You can use this uh, preset from Vectron Bool Pack. So just open that. Click on the render target. Then we need to replace this volume SDF uh, school with the uh, statue. So just open that. And there's something strange here. So you can just uh, change the way we combine the fractal with the SDF just to visualize uh, both. So you can go in vector operators here and hit union. So we can see that we have both objects. Also here's the, there's a crop and that's because we have to increase the bounds like that. Just a bit. You can change the octane kernel to info channel and normal. So we, we can actually see what's going on. Let's position the fractal a bit. Something like that. And then we can change uh, the combine mode to intersect. And as you can see, it's really cool. I love this. So just play a bit with the position and the fractal parameters because there's many here. So let's say we are happy with this one, but take your time to play with the fractal. And also it takes a bit of time to get it uh, looking good. And one thing you can also do here is change the way you combine the fractal and the mesh, like subtract, or you can invert the subtraction, or just union. But I prefer to use intersect round and play a bit with the radius, like that. That's cool. Now we need to animate the fractal parameter. So we can use uh, loop pi, this one, which loops uh, every one. So at zero is equal to when it's one, but we need to animate that. So we can use the script, scripted graph and open the script we downloaded before and now just connect that to the loop pi and you will see the timeline nothing happens that's fine we need to enter the start value which is zero and the end is one and then timing second is fine 10 second is fine 
but then we need to set that to set the FPS to 30 and you will see that it's now animated and also looping perfect then we can go back to path tracing or direct light and check the shading of this I've included a few materials here if you want to play with those. I'm going to keep the diffuse one just because it's th probably the faster one to render. And we can now save this. Then we can actually close Octane and import that to Cinema 4D. So import and try to load that. Okay, so it's really big. We just can uh, scale, it, scale it down. Here we go. So as you can see here, you had volume and it's overlaying with the mesh, with the fractal uh, combined volume we just created. And of course it's looping so from now on it's just a matter of uh, light and shading to get it to look cooler i will work on this a bit you know it takes time to to make it look good so let's check in a few minutes so one day later we have the final result uh, because i have rendered the animation and i did a few things like at the fog some uh, particles and a light this light so it's pretty simple and that's it uh, i've also changed the transmission material so in the in the octane standalone which is pretty simple just a diffuse uh, not white just a bit of gray and a transmission orange transmission and that's it so let's check the animation out and thanks for watching